So okay. welcome. This is our CPC annual informational meeting on how our CPC is funded and how it works and how you can apply for different projects. I think you have to read that. Uh, That's the hearing notice. Okay. This notice is to hereby give in accordance with the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 44B, Section 5, known as the Massachusetts Community Preservation Act. That's the community preservation will hold a public informational hearing right now, July 19th, 2023, at 7 p.m. at the Town Hall at 454 College Highway. The committee will discuss the needs, possibilities, and resources of the town regarding community preservation funding. The committee will discuss and review comments from the public regarding the use of monies in the Community Preservation Fund for acquisition, creation, and preservation of open space, for the acquisition and preservation of historic resources, for the acquisition and creation of the preservation of land and recreational use, for the creation, preservation, and support of community housing and rehabilitation or restoration of such open space, historic resources, land for recreational use, and community housing that is acquired or created as provided for in the Community Preservation Act. And welcome everyone. Okay. All right. I would like to open up with some public comment questions. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I like it when that happens. Um, we do have a section on our, our uh, town website for community preservation where you may um, submit questions or comments to Sabrina Pooler. Um, so you can look for that. It's at the bottom of our allowable uses, allowable usage. Uh, no, it's not. It's just the main. Just on our main page at the very bottom yeah. where it says questions and comments. So, yep, yeah, main page okay. and then questions and comments. And so you can send her those questions or comments if you wish to inquire. All right, we are looking at um, pretty much going to be going through our uh web page tonight because on it it's pretty comprehensive it has the different categories allowable uses our annual uh, community preservation plan which should be getting updated um application process which will also become online application we're updating that as well but right now there are uh, forms that you can download and fill out to bring in um we have a um, <clears throat> explanation about how your tax dollars are spent and how they're uh, going towards community preservation. Um, do we have that page, Sabrina? I have this page, but you don't have that page. I'll just read it out loud. Locally raised revenue that comes from our surcharge is derived um, locally through the imposition of a surcharge of not more than 3%, which is what we do here in Southwick. It's a levy against the real property. Uh, contrary to common misconception, the CPA surcharge does not raise the tax rate for the adopting community. It assesses the surcharge on the property tax bills after they've been calculated and based on the community's current tax rate. Uh, for an example, say your house is assessed for $380,000. The first $100,000 is exempt. Um, and the homeowner's net value will be charged uh, $280,000, evaluated for $280,000 after applying this, the sample municip uh, municipality's tax rate of, we'll say, $11.47 uh, per 1,000. The amount is subject to CPA surcharge. So the tax on that would be $3,200 with a 1.5 CPA surcharge applied, uh, CPA surcharge for the homeowner would be approximately $45 a year. So in our town being 3% would be double that. So $90 a year. This $45 or $90 for us would be transferred to Phoenix Preservation Fund um, and the city or town uh, accountants or the tax collector. Um, this money can be levied um, and used uh, towards um, some uh, bonding uh, for larger projects that we might not have enough funding in the account for, 
Um, so the locally raised revenue can be used as uh, a bonded amount, um, or we can bond against that amount, I should say. The money that comes from the state is not guaranteed at a certain rate, so we cannot bond against that money, only what we raise in town. So the 3% comes in um, big in that regard. Okay. Um, allowable uses, uh, we can use, uh, where is I? Where do I want to do categories? That's it, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we can look at uh, open space. Um, the acquisition or creation or preservation of open space, this money can be used for. The rehabilitation or restoration of open space, provided the open space was acquired or created with community money funds, can also be used. Um, open space is uh, defined as, but not limited to, a project existing in the future well fields, aquifers, recharge areas, watershed land, cultural land, grasslands, fields, forest land, fresh saltwater marshes, and other wetlands. Um, oceans, rivers, streams, beach, dunes, and it goes on. Okay, so we can use that to uh, preserve that land because um, that falls under open space. To acquire open space, um, that is a, a good use acquisition, um, like I said, can be uh, bonded for at our town meeting. It has to be a two thirds majority vote for acquisition of lands. Um, and to rehabilitate is another issue that we can, or another thing we can use uh, CPA money for on open space. Expenditures for rehabilitation, restoration of open space um, are not allowable unless the space was uh, acquired. For example, funding is allowable for rehabilitation of municipal forest land, provided the forest land was acquired with community preservation funds. Community preservation funds cannot be used, however, to fund an expenditure that would fall within the CPA definition of maintenance, even if the expenditure is uh, required by a forest management plan. So this open space must be um, purchased with CPA funds for the maintenance to or rehabilitation to happen. And that's for open space. Okay, recreational use. Okay, the land for recreational use is defined, but not limited to the land of the community gardens, trails, um, non-commercial youth for youth uh, and or adults. The use of land as a park, playground, or athletic field. Recreational use shall not include horseback or dog racing or dog racing or land for a stadium, gymnasium, or a similar structure. The CPA definition limits recreational use to an outdoor recreational pursuit. We can use it for acquisition. It is allowable. Um, rehabilitation, capital improvements, a municipally owned land must make that make the land or related recreational facilities more functional and their attended outdoor recreational use are allowed. Um, such as putting in um, restrooms and things like that. Um, purchase of tennis rackets, basketballs, things like that are not uh, allowable. Installation of bleachers is also not allowable. Rehabilitation or installation of restrooms, like I was saying. Um, for athletic fields, swimming pools, such as uh, like that are also allowable. Acquisition, uh, creation and rehabilitation, funding for rehabilitation are also allowable. Creation for non-commercial athletic fields, outdoor tennis, basketball courts, golf courses, creation of lands for recreational use, uh, funding for soccer fields, including water lines for irrigation and land owned by private boosters is allowable provided the municipality obtains a public rec recreational use restriction and easement commensurate with its expenditure. Um, that means if we do uh, allow a private entity such as our um, rec, center. rec center funding, 
it has to be accessible by the town for town fund for town events. Funding for a feasibility study for engineer or other studies for a new indoor community recreational facility to rehabilitate an existing indoor community recreational facility is not allowable because the project itself is not eligible for CPA funding. So therefore, the um, the study would not be also allowed. Okay, we'll move on to historical resources. Okay, historical resources for community preservation purposes, a real property or a document or artifact that is listed on the state register of historic places or has been determined by the local historic preservation commission to be significant in the history, archeology, span architecture, or culture of the city or town. Rehabilitation restoration is funding that is liable for the rehabilitation of a historically significant municipality owned building List on the state register of historic places, provided the expenditure falls within the CPA definition of rehabilitation. Is not within the CPA definition of maintenance, and the work complies with the standards of rehabilitation stated in the state U.S. Secretary of the Interior standards for treatment of historic properties, which means it should be restored back to its original uh, look or intent using um, historic materials. Acquisition, rehabilitation, restoration is allowable for re rehabilitation to, of exterior of a building designed by H.H. H. Richardson on Main Street. It's uh, kind of like, this is an example given kind of like we had an application come in a few years ago for the um, <clears throat> stained glass windows across the street at the uh, library. So what that would have to happen is it's allowable. However, if it was appropriated and the building was sold, if it was not put into um, Uh, a historical, um, what do I want to say? State register? Mm. If it wasn't put into historic under perpet in perpetuity, oh. that the um, it sold at the time of sale, the money would have to be given back to the town that was originally given through CPA. Um, Rehabilitation is a paint, like painting is an integral part of a larger eligible restoration project, such as we're doing now with the uh, Morehouse. Um, preservation, funding to move historic lighthouse. Okay, this is kind of like we did with the um, tobacco barn. When we move the tobacco barn to um, ensure its preservation. Funding for an inventory of historic buildings within a municipality is not allowable at CPA project expenditure because the inventory is not historic resource. Okay, it's you're finding out what resources there are, but it is not itself a historic resource. A documented file in the municipal clerk's office is not an, a historic resource under the CPA unless the document has been determined by vote of the local historic preservation commission to be significant in the history, archaeology, or architecture or culture of a city or town. And I believe there is gonna be one of those um, coming in this evening uh, requests. So that might be a question we have at that time. If municipal document is determined by the vote of the Historic Preservation Commission to be significant of the history, archeology, span or architecture of the culture of the city or town, then the CP funding is allowable for the acquisition, preservation, rehabilitation, or restoration of the physical document. For example, CPA funding could be used to acidify the paper Repair tears, remove harmful films and residues, and encase the document in protective mylar. These expenditures would be allowable as restoration or preservation of a historic resource document. Um, we have done this in the past um, with some town documents. All right. Let's go to community housing. In our community housing, we have uh, built up a little bit of money because 
We don't have as much use for community housing funds in Southwick. We have very few um, places that are applicable to this fund. Although uh, it could be funding uh, for construction of affordable housing units and the affordable housing restriction held by the municipality mixed development is allowable. So there we can create also um, affordable housing. <clears throat> Acquisition and creation is outlined here also on our website, if anyone would like to look into that further. Rehabilitation, we have um, capital improvements for extraordinary repairs, community housing, including replacement of kitchen cabinets, flooring, windows, doors and roofs. We right now also have a project, a uh, flooring project coming in for some rehabilitation on that. Um, support, this is one that I wasn't sure of before. By definition, expenditures in support of community housing must be for the purpose of making housing affordable. As a result, the housing asset itself must be made affordable by the expenditure. Okay, uh, CP, CP funding is allowable for following rental assistance program. Municipality enters into an agreement with a nonprofit or local housing authority. Um, the landlords will be will find suitable units to participate in the program and eligible tenants seeking affordable housing. The program documents include coterminous contracts and it goes through some more of the legal jargon. So it can be also used to help support um, affordable housing. Funding for affordable housing needs assessment is not allowable as C uh, community preservation project expenditure because it does not acquire, create, preserve, rehabilitate, rehabilitate, restore, or support any particular housing asset. However, the needs of the assessment is a fundable, is fundable under the CPC's administrative and operating budget if the if it will assist the CPC in performing its statutory statutory duties. That means if we have questions, we can look into it. We can use the assessment um, so we can fund it ourselves, not through the applicant, but through ourselves, through the administrative fund to see if it does fit, okay? Um, just look at our... This is the uh, preservation plan. It's we have a, a PowerPoint you can look at, um, and it, it's fairly comprehensive. So we're not going to go through it tonight, but anybody can go to that and click on the the PowerPoint for annual community preservation plan. Um, hopefully, we'll be updating that. Okay, the application is also online. You can click on that. It's the next one down. If you want to look at it, it's a fairly simple form, um, but it does need to be filled out appropriately. Um, let's see, there are some information that we need to make sure we understand what the project is all about. And there are also there's also another page for the criteria to see if it meets criteria. There's uh, check boxes that say yes or no. For an example, will the project promote revenue generation? Yes, no, or unknown. It's not a necessary that we fill those out. And you know we're gonna be looking at those to see, um, to weigh the projects. It's not really, the CPC criteria, but it might help us to help to de determine um, how it fits our goals in town. Um, Community Preservation Act funds needs to be updated. Oh, updated on our website. We did get new um, numbers. Um, the numbers on our website now are rough, a year ago, a little over a year ago. Mm -hmm. So they will be changing. They're always in flux, especially our uh, administrative fund because that is being used um, as salary right now. Um, we do have some projects that we have ongoing. 
We do have a page with previously approved projects. So if you'd like to look at those, you can see how your money has been spent here in town. Um, let's see, 2007, I think is our 2003 is our first. So 20 years ago was our first project that we funded through CPA. <clears throat> Oh, Nebraska farm. Nebraska farm. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this year we have, I believe, six mm -hmm. projects uh, coming uh, that we passed at town meeting. Hazardous tree removal at the Old Town Cemetery, the Moore House repair, uh, some flooring at the Housing Authority, uh, historic roof and cupola repair of the police department bronze plaques, uh, restoration at the War Memorial and spray park at Wally Park. So those are our new um, projects that we were, we just passed at our town meeting. Okay. I believe I did that in time. Yeah, yes you did. Okay, mm -hmm. I cut and pasted a little bit. Um, but if you have questions or comments, like I said, you can go to the bottom of our, our homepage there and just, just click on that box and you can fill in the, the blanks and we'll go to our coordinator, Sabrina Pooler, and she'll get back to you as soon as possible. Some things do take longer than others to answer, just be understanding. <laughs> All right. Anybody have any other comments or questions? I said like, I'm a little bit late. You have any? Not at this time. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So I'd say that's a wrap. Does anybody here have any uh, comments or questions? Do you want to say anything else? Or? Minor knit. Our deadline needs to be updated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We don't that's, have a deadline anymore. Well, yeah. Yeah, we don't. Right now it's just 2022. So. Yeah. 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 So, so you missed it. So, exactly. Yeah. Late. No <laughs> new project. You Too hard. It. Too bad. Yeah, I think we decided to take that off. So if it if it works out to get passed before a town meeting, then it does. If it doesn't, then oh well. Right. You have to wait unless they have a special town meeting. Um all right. So I'll take a motion to close the hearing. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay.